What's going on, everybody? You got the crazy dog back for another video. And, uh, got the Cowboys this week. Oh, great. You know? Again, I have no hate for the Cowboys. You know, I respect their fan base. I respect their team. Their owner is a bit of a loon. But, hey, you know, he's cool, I guess. <laughs> I mean, heck, this team... I actually thought the Cowboys... We're going to draft Johnny Manziel way back when. But leave it to the Browns owner, Jimmy Haslam, to listen to a homeless guy and draft Johnny Manziel. Mm, look how that panned out. Yeah. How many wins did he have? Like two? I think he only had two wins. The Tennessee Titans. And then he beat the Niners. <laughs> and look how good the Niners are now. Oh, wait. They're not good at all. They're absolute trash like they were last year. And I remember when Niners fans thought that this whole Chip Kelly thing was actually going to work. Like, dude, Chip Kelly sucks. He should go back to college. He's trash. His system does not work in the NFL. No. It doesn't work. But, hey, you know, Niners fans thought it was going to work. But, nope. It's a big old fail. And so that, that, that whole coaching thing down there in San Francisco is a bigger fail than uh, the Pat Shermer era here. Yeah. And by the way, Pat Shermer is now a coordinator again over in Minnesota after Norv Turner uh, abruptly resigned. But I can see why. That offense is not as explosive without uh, Adrian Peterson and Teddy Bridgewater. Not to mention, they've had a lot of injuries. I mean, even their head coach got hurt. Although, he had a torn retina, I guess. So we had to get that fixed. But, got a lot of injuries, man. A lot of injuries. But anyways, talking about the Browns and the Cowboys game. Do I see the Browns winning this game? No. Being real? No. And you know why? Because of... The, uh, the new era of the triplets, you know, the modern triplets. You got Dak Prescott, who has come out here and proved everyone why he has, I mean, a lot of people are saying rookie of the year. I think he can be rookie of the year. I remember way back when, I think it was before the season started, you know, people were saying Tony Romo was going to lead this team or lead that team to prominence with all the talent that they had. And then, lo and behold, of course, Tony Womo gets hurt. Deck, Deck Prescott goes in, starts kicking some butt. Now, Tony Romo may be coming back, but always close to getting healthy. Now comes the discussion that most Cowboy fans would probably love to avoid. Do you bring back Tony Romo? And that answer should be a hell no. Simply because Dak Prescott has gotten the momentum. He's, you know, he's gotten a lot of good chemistry with the squad. You don't want to ruin that by putting Tony Romo in there. <laughs> Granted, I would love if you started Tony Romo against us. Because all we need to do is just put him in the dirt one time and he'd probably shatter into a million pieces. That dude's more a robot than anything. The dude's probably got more steel in his body than he has flesh. I don't even know, man. I mean, that guy's got screws and everything. You might as well call him a uh, Roborg or something. I don't know. Romocop. Yeah, there you go. Romocop. <laughs> I think I saw that somewhere. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Cowboys got a very talented team. Got Zeke, who I loved at Ohio State. Got Des Bryant. Of course, you got Jason Witten. You got a freaking amazing offensive line. I mean, they're built for success. Not to mention they got a pretty nice stadium, too. A.K.A. Jerry World. <laughs> really? Oh, man. But anyways, talking about my team. <laughs> I'm going to go on a limb and say uh, Ezekiel Elliott will have... Three touchdowns, probably 250 yards, 
Uh, I'm going to say Des Bryant, we have a touchdown. Jason Witten, we have a touchdown. Maybe even Dak Prescott will have a rushing touchdown. So run the ball into the end zone because that's how bad our defense is. Now, I guess you can give it a pass because it's a young defense. But still, you guys got to freaking get after. <laughs> Why am I even talking about our defense? Our defense is ranked 32nd in the NFL. Our defense is worse than the Saints. The Saints. <laughs> Bruh. And with the Saints, it's almost like they just send out their offense. They don't even send out a defense. <laughs> really? I don't know what. Got to got to improve it, you know? Ray Horton's got to fix it. They are not getting after the quarterback. They are not getting turnovers. They're not putting our offense in great field position. And that's got to change. And I see why they brought in Jamie Collins. I'm actually shocked that we made that trade. I thought the Browns were going to be sellers, not buyers. No. I think Jamie Collins will give the linebacking core a bit of a boost, but our defense is still going to be bad because our secondary sucks. It is absolute trash. Our front seven is not bad. We got some young studs on that front seven. Emmanuel Ogba, Carl Nassib, and now you add Jamie Collins with Kirksey and Davis. I mean, it's a pretty good front seven. Like, Danny Shelton's improved from last year. I mean, he's improved 100% from last year. Oh, God. Ooh, we, I got to give Ray Horton credit for that one. He changed Danny Shelton. Cameron Irving still is a bum, though. Yeah. Cameron Irving is a bum. I don't even know why we still have him on this team. But whatever. I just hope uh, whoever our quarterback is this week does not get killed. But hey, at least we're getting Corey Coleman back. That's good news. Another weapon for our quarterback and our offense. With Terrell Pryor and Crowell and Barnich. Who, admi you know, who admittedly has not shown out this year. Barnage has not been all that impressive. I think he needs to have a breakout game and maybe he'll start doing what he did last year. I don't know. But uh, if I had to give a score prediction for this game, I would put it in the range of Cowboys win, of course. Uh, I'm going to say Cowboys are going to win 28 to maybe 10. Maybe no, I'm you know I'm gonna I'm gonna say 28 to 14. Yeah, 28 to 14. So, yep, that's my preview for week nine. Um, I will have my week 10 hate week because you know that's gonna be a hate week. We got the rat birds on Thursday night, and guess what? It's color rush, but the Browns can't wear theirs because apparently. Brown and purple kind of aren't good for the eyes for people. I mean, that – and no, we're not – I mean, no, we're not wearing brown and purple. We were supposed to wear some pretty sick-looking brown and orange jerseys, all brown with, like, orange stripes and everything. They look way better than the ones we got now. But uh, the Ravens are going to wear all purple with gold letters. <laughs> okay. Wow. But, you know, maybe we can win that game. I would be honestly absolute shocked. I would be absolutely amazed if we can win this game this week against the Cowboys. Yeah, I, don't, I, I don't think it'll happen. I'm not trying to pull an EDP and say, oh, yeah, I'm going to say we're going to lose so we go out there and win. No, I think the Cowboys are honestly going to have their way with the Browns. It's just the way it's been, you know. Team just cannot get a win. But, whatever. Do we go 0-16? I mean, it's still too early to say. I'm going to say no. We'll get a win sooner or later. Hopefully. But, uh, who knows when that'll be. So, anyways. I'm Crazy Dog 99 Go Browns. Go Cavs. Go Tribe. Indians lost last night to the Cubs. 
in dramatic fashion, of course. But, you know, you got to tip your cap to the uh, Cubs fans. You know, they pretty much took over progressive field the entire series. I don't know why Indians fans would sell their tickets to Cubs fans. But then again, you know, Cubs fans were freaking all over StubHub. They were purchasing, like, rows of tickets. Like, four or five seats. For, like, they were spending some big money. Like, okay. Wow. Big, big money. I bet you a lot of those Cubs fans last, you know, this series took out a lot, like, took out their lifetime savings. The money they were going to use to maybe send their kid to college, they used for this. I mean, that's how big the moment was. You know, you don't know if your team is going to get there again. Although I fully expect the Cubs to be in this situation next year. And maybe the Indians will be back too. But, you know, only time will tell. But, uh, anyways, um, yeah, I'm Crazy Talk 99. And I'll see you for week 10 on Thursday night. I'll have my, uh, hate week probably started, <laughs> wow, either Monday or Tuesday. One of those two days. But yeah, Ravens Red Zone, I'm coming back for you. Ravens Red Zone here. Eh. Alright, anyways, well, I'm Crazy Dog and I'm out.